recording right here, man. Hey, I want to first of all say thank you for joining my show. No, uh, no problem. You know, tell your family I said I appreciate you uh, taking out of your time. Is somebody sitting next to you, or you by yourself? No, I'm just. It's just me in the car. As a matter of fact, I'm about to battle the lines at Sam's Club. Oh, okay, okay. Well, hey, man, be safe, man. Where your mask at? It's right here next to me. I ain't going okay. to do the whole interview like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt. I'm just making sure you got one, man, because I hate to see, I hate for this to be your R.I.P. video. You know no. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's rough. Cause... I know, man. I know. Come to think of it, man, you were, you know, you wanted the cats who uh, are on the cruise ships for, you know, a little while, man. So, uh, let's start off there, bro. Before this thing hit, you were really, you know, killing it on the um on the posts about being all in the exotic, warm oh yeah places and shit. You was no <laughs> <laughs> so, but then all of a sudden, um, you were involved, and I was worried about you, man, because you know I would hate to have found out that you you were you know got that shit, man. So what was that like? To be perfectly honest, it was actually cool as shit on the ship. Yeah, my ship had zero cases, and the weird part about being on a cruise ship, they're better equipped to handle a breakout than, let's say, Chicago or any other city. Okay, every cruise ship in the world has a protocol set in place where, let's say, if there's a, a virus break, uh, like a stomach virus or something that's being passed by hand or whatever, they literally se they separate the crew from the passengers. Okay, they um. <clears throat> and they clean incessantly. And let's say you're the one that got it. They quarantine you in your cabin and they bring you your food every day. You don't come out, but you don't need anything because you got your food and you got, you know, your bathroom, all that stuff and all your clothes or whatever. So okay. a cruise ship is a safer place. The problem with cruise ships is this. My ships were usually the bigger ones. So you got about 4,800 people on there. <clears throat> okay. Plus another 1,700 guests. Yeah. That are from all over the world. Every week, we dump 4,800 people and get another 4,800 that are literally going across the world. So, in theory, if someone on a ship gets it and they pass it around unknowingly, yeah, that, that virus can go all over the world just from that ship. Right, right. And that's what we were kind of seeing. Some of the mm -hmm. ships, they stopped letting into port uh, right around that, which had certain people on it and things. It became a kind of an international incident, right? Dude, it was crazy because I, I literally got off on March 16th. Yeah. I uh, came home right in time for the schools to be shut down, Chicago schools. Yeah. And we were scared because we were coming back in New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that. And the week before we got back, the New York, the head of New York Port Authority, he got COVID. And we know, we heard New York was in a panic. Yeah. So we didn't know if they were going to let us off or not. Right we, right. we didn't know what to expect when we got to New York. Damn. Okay. Like, dude, New York was a ghost town. Yeah, when you came through it. So you drove oh, yeah. from the airport, I mean, from the boat to the airport, barely, yep. barely seeing 10, 20 cars. Dude, and, the, and same thing when we got to the airport. Like... Nobody was at LaGuardia. Luckily, I wasn't at uh, Kennedy, but JFK, but yeah. LaGuardia was empty. Man, I heard that. How about your plane? Was it empty, too? Dude, so I booked my flight. I, I picked my seat earlier in the week. Cool. <laughs> I get to my row, and somebody else, now the ship, the, the plane's half empty. There's a dude sitting in the middle seat. I'm like, dude, I know they offered you your choice to see. Why did you pick this? This row was empty when I picked it. Yeah, yeah. Weirdo. I was like, dude, you a good. Then he's like, so I sat down in my seat and I'm looking at him. He, this fool starts a conversation. <laughs> so after me staring at the side of his head for a few minutes, he goes, if no one comes through this aisle, this, this, this window seat, I'll, I'll scoot over. I was like, I tell you what, I'm just going to go to one of these entirely empty rows, and I'm going to get away from you. So You told him that verbatim? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Frank, that's cold, but uh, I get no, it. No, dude, understand. that was way too strange. Was yeah, way too yeah, strange. Yeah. He probably wanted you to fall asleep so he could touch your penis. Man, I am not going to be in the penis. <laughs> 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 
I heard that. You man. don't want to be in a Me Too movement, but you definitely don't want to be on that end of it. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I don't want to be in either one of them. Right. You know, yeah. So that that's it, man. Um. So check it out, man. Um. That's post COVID. I mean, pre COVID. How you were dealing with it, and then how you got to now. So how's your family holding up, man? I, I've watched your son grow up online. You know, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I, right. I think I saw him once in real life, but. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, the internet will let you in. A lot of people know Franklin. Franklin's popular. Yeah, so, exactly. <laughs> that dude, to be honest, he's been he's been super great during this uh, whole COVID time. But he's oh, yeah. about three days from saying, fuck this shit. I want to <laughs> see what he is. I mean, they, verbatim, that's what he's going to say. You know what? I heard that. <laughs> I expect him to be in the comedy game uh, in about five to ten years. I mean, what is he, about seven now? No, 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 he's 10 now. He's 10, wow, so 10, about 12 years, I I expect him to pop up in the clubs or something, unless he do a Dave Chappelle and start at 14. (laughs) He might, because he actually already asked me to teach him how to do comedy, and I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great, man. We would love it. He'd be like the Kobe Bryant of comedy or something. Man, listen. (laughs) I look forward to that, man. So, y'all... Wait, let me tell you what he said. He once told a kid in his class that their teeth were so dirty that they were growing dandelions. I was sitting there like, damn. <laughs> That's pretty good. I was like, let me write that down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is brilliant. And I at can't the time, wait he was about it. six or seven. I was like, that's impressive. Yeah, that is great, man. Good for him. I love it. He, he getting trained by the right one, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So currently, right now, man, what what are the projects that you're looking forward to? Are you doing what are you doing right now? What is, what what are you doing, man? Well, right now I'm just writing and just trying not to, you know, stay keep everybody alive in my house because you know it's quarantine. Yeah. So it's you, your wife, and your son. And son. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. That that'll get you quick. Uh, you know, hopefully we were. I was talking with uh, another comic. You know, you remember Juan Villa uh, Villa Real? Juan Villa Real. Yeah. I was yeah. talking to Juan Villarreal about this, and he was like, "Man, dudes gonna really know if they love their woman right now." You know. What I'm saying? No. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. This is not a true test. This is not a true test. Let me tell you why. Because this is not realistic of life. You got a okay. couple that's been. No, think about it. You got a couple that's been married fifty years. Yeah. They ain't been together fifty years. That dude worked the job. He worked the job. <laughs> Yeah. Job was eight hours. If you take two hours to commute, you literally only home twelve hours a day. You sleep eight hours. Right. You got four hours to deal with. Yep. Now you got twenty four. Yeah, that's what we talking about. That's why I think it's a test. You said it ain't a test. I'm like, no, no, no. What I'm test. saying is, it ain't realistic in that because a lot of people think you know you really love them, you know, just to stay together fifty years. Nah, because it ain't really fifty years straight. Right. Okay. This shit going like dog years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my point. That's our point. Our point mm-hmm. is, oh, yeah. is you with her 24 hours a day within whatever size your house is, and uh, you are getting to know your woman, your man right now, for sure. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what gets me, because I met a dude some years back, older cat. He had uh, retired. He's like a handyman or something, a carpenter. Yeah. So I met him in Lowe's. We were just hanging out, talking out. He's like, yeah, I retired a few weeks ago after working 50 years. My wife been at home all that time. You know, I made it so she could stay at home. So now I figure I can go home and rest. Yeah. So after two weeks, she told me, I don't like you in my house all day. <laughs> so either get yourself a girlfriend or a job, but you got to be gone eight hours a day. Yeah, yeah, that's that is terribly good. <laughs> I love the fact that she claimed the entire house. She's like, yeah, hey, they, uh, that's what it is, man. You think that you know you didn't hear people mention that one. You think like they, uh, Chris Rock said that if you think you own the house, try to move her mama picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You see that joke? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. and and the city of you know what if y'all divorce you the one outside most of the time the police Ooh. show up you got to leave and take a walk and shit like that no 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 here's the rule on that real okay. talk yeah whoever called the police first mm. it's a stay now when you the man 
It's still a little trick to that. You call the police, let them know it's you. Let them know it's the man. Now, when you hang up the phone, number one, she can't know you called. Okay. Now, you got to keep her mad till they get there. <laughs> okay. All right. Because when they get there, if you called and you going off, yeah, you still got to go. Now, yeah. when you get when they get there and you the call when she flipping out, guess who get the cuffs? Okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with your level of uh, knowledge in this situation, but I know you're usually a calm dude, man. I know. <laughs> so. That's the thing. I'm cool as hell. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I've done this because I haven't. But I know who has. <laughs> okay, go on put that preference on there for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who has. I'm like, I know. Frank Townsend beating his woman. <laughs> what is this? Nah, we, we don't do that. No, nah. we definitely don't do that. <laughs> Love it, love it, man. That's great. So how how are those boats, man? I, I mean, I hear mixed, uh, mixed, uh, you know, I hear mixed uh, reports on how doing them is sometimes fun, sometimes not. You know, it depends on the comedian. I'm sure. A lot of times, it's it's a lot of different variables. Um, it's basically you know how you go to a club, and every club owner will tell you what they don't want on their stage. Yeah. That you got that part of it. Now the thing is with a cruise ship, it's a little more serious in that when you go to a nightclub, if I piss off an audience member, and they complain to the club owner, the club owners are like, "You, you an adult? You came to a comedy club? What did you expect?" Yeah. Now on a cruise ship, the person is complaining, probably spent anywhere from six to ten thousand dollars for their whole family to get on that boat. Yeah. So the boat. So they listen like, to them a little bit more. Uh, yeah. So if a person wants to complain about you enough and they get enough complaints and they keep it going, you can get fired. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. I keep hearing that. Well, once you once you figure out your way, because every person has to adapt to the rules they way. Once you figure out your way, just walk in the park. Yeah. Now what would that what would that mean? What does that mean, your way? You mean how you how you uh transition to the, the stage on a boat or you know, little, it's everything because you have to figure out how you are, how you're perceived on stage, how you're coming across to that audience and how you maneuver on the boat. Okay. Because like in a comedy club, you get off stage, you walk out the door, you on your own. Yeah. On a comedy, on a cruise ship, you would work the whole time. <laughs> you live with your audience. Yeah. That's got to suck. <laughs> yeah, it or it could point. be great. You know what I mean? It's if they bump. love you, they love you. Now, if they love you, sometimes that works your nerves too. But yeah. But if if they ain't, if you ain't doing well, Lord. <laughs> if you bombing, <laughs> dude, I've seen. I mean, it's one. I've been in a comedy club and I bombed. Yeah. And it, it is. It hurts. It, you know what? You know that feel. It hurts. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, I haven't had anything go too bad on ships. Yeah. But I've seen comics where the where the boat has hated them. The whole boat. <laughs> for an entire week. Oh, I love <laughs> now do they usually get fired? Are they getting fired because of that? Or is it, it depends. It all depends on who who complains. Okay. Or if people complain. Now, because there are a lot of comics that work a lot of different cruise lines that are not very good. Now I'll be honest with that. But if nobody complains against you, yeah. You just slipping through the cracks. It's like working for a giant corporation. Okay. Every person that works at a corporation ain't a good employee. Okay. But if you can hide, you know. Yeah, you can you can live that 30 years yeah. just hiding in the mail room as exactly. long as your mail get delivered, you all right. Now, if you at a mom and pop store, you know, mom yeah. and pop know you suck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't know what's in the aisles and shit. Even and what's bad about it. it What's bad about it is people on the ship love to tell you that they love you. But just as much as they love to tell you that, they love to tell you how much they hate the other guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you, and in my experience, most comics are cool anyway. So yeah. I hate it when people tell me how much they hate the other guy or how much he sucks. Right. And I always try to tell them, I was like, well, you know, somebody on the other end of the ship is telling them the exact same thing, how much they love them and how much they hate me. Yeah. And these people still go in. They don't give a damn about your feelings if you ain't funny. <laughs> uh, well, I, I keep hearing, man, that 
some of the times you have to tone it down so much during the shows that you that you know it takes away a lot of dudes ability to be funny that's what i mean rumor is no 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 it depends on what type of comic you are mm. if you okay if you are a late night comedy club dude and you work in a christian comedy show why are you there yeah true it's really about how you what you what jobs you picking right i mean you have no business being in a clean show if you're not a clean cop. Right. If you there just trying to take the money and you can't do the job, that's on you. Right, right. Get, now, get back to writing. Because <laughs> one of the things is it does make you more versatile. <clears throat> I mean, you know me because you know I've never been a dirty guy. I've been an adult guy, but I've never been a dirty guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you tell me to clean it up to do a family-friendly show, that's nothing for me. I can do that. Right. You tell me to entertain the adults, I can do that. Right. Now, the problem is comedy clubs on land are designed for adults. Yeah. Plain and simple. That's what com stand up comedy is not for children. It's not for young people. Right. It's for adults. Right. Even the ones that are quote unquote clean comics are you are supposed to be talking to adults. And we both know a clean show for adults and a clean show with kids in it is two different shows. Two totally different shows. Because the innuendo is still there. Topics can change. The wording might be a little different. Yeah. But it's, it's going to be some differences. Right. So you just got to figure out where you are with it. Right. So, but, yeah, because my thing is, now, to be perfectly honest, I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. Aaron, don't you dare get your ass on no comedy club show on no ship. Dude, if they want you to do family friendly, just say no. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know what. Actually, to be honest with you, man, I've had the range. I've done schools. Mm -hmm. I've done school mm -hmm. shows. I just have so much content that you may not have been able to see it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I appreciate the, the warning because I, 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 I hesitated I on doing I hesitate on doing them because I don't like them. It's not that I can't do it. I just don't oh. like it. I'm not free. Oh, yeah. Trust me when I tell you this. I know you. <laughs> the minute somebody tell you you're not supposed to say something, they can't say something, that's, that's like true. the second or third thing you're going to say on stage. Yeah, you're going to dive right in. That's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. I, I don't, trust, I know my I don't boy. like constraint. <laughs> I know my boy. Yeah. The minute you tell him no, that's what's like, well, why can't I do that? You're right. It don't make sense. Okay. The crowd roaring, but... You know, I'm right. fired. I'm fired. Yeah. Oh, I, I've seen that happen to comics. I've seen that happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen cats, yeah, you know, like five people short of a standing ovation and they had to leave because the wrong person complained or yeah, the wrong yeah. person saw it. No doubt. No doubt. Now, and that's, a, that's unfortunate, man, because you got people that are really out to, to do that on purpose. They know if they complain, they can get you. And so they purposely oh, yeah. go complain because they're more interested in power and controlling somebody than they are just being a good person. We were talking about, uh, there was this one comic that got fired. Well, he didn't get fired. He's, uh, his contract actually ended. Yeah. And a woman, they complained about him during the week. And so when he was walking off the ship with his bags, she thought she got him fired. She told her kids, see, mommy got that guy fired. And she was proud of herself. Even though she did not get him fired, it was just right. the end of his contract. Right, 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 right. It's sad, man. Uh, you know, I don't know what her existence is that she goes back to, but I'm pretty sure happy. it's a miserable one. Yeah, people like that are not happy. If no. you can't be happy on a cruise ship, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jump off. Go swim and with we, sharks. <laughs> and we get plenty of those people. I mean, it's like, what is... If you can't be happy here, Right. I mean, it's a cruise ship. All we got is liquor and bacon. You got to make that work. <laughs> and great seafood and all types of shit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And, you know, I, I don't get it, man. It's a lot of people like that in the daily, uh, you know, existence. All they doing mm -hmm. is trying to find what's wrong. Just enjoy what oh, yeah. you're doing, man. They always like, oh, such and such. Is, hey, you know, they, it's always something wrong. I'm like, come on. Mm -hmm. You build your own existence, too. You know? Yeah, oh, man. That's what's it's up. crazy. I just my thing is I just want to be happy. That's one of the reasons why I do what I do is because for that few minutes, you are right. Yeah, you actually that hour, that half hour, whatever I'm doing, you are right. Exactly. And 
after you've had a good laugh, whatever problems you had before, it don't seem that bad right at that moment. Okay, I can do this. That's true. That's true. Now, I kind of um, have a theory about that, man. Like, I think that being a comedian and learning what that feels like is like being kind of a heroin addict at times, you know, because mm -hmm. that high makes you good until you get to the next time you do it, you know? Yep. So I have a whole little, you know, spiel about that. I won't drop it in this because, you mm -hmm. know, actually, you know, I, I didn't took up enough of your time. I'm at your, at the point I told you, you know, that I would stop, but man, you know, you and I got so go back so far that we could talk for hours and hours. Dude, you know, the night, you yeah, know, the I night. Know. Every, every time I, I thank you for saving me, man. Cause <laughs> without that, I don't know how I would have been from that divorce. That was one of the craziest nights. I should have like... <laughs> one day we'll tell it on camera or something, man. <laughs> That's what's up. No, I want you to, I want you to stay safe, man. We're not gonna <laughs> talk about that. I'm in the house with my girl, and uh, <laughs> oh, that was one of the best. <laughs> I want you to stay safe in this Sam's, bro. Put your mask on. Don't touch stuff too easily. If you get some gloves or something, get that. You know, I'm looking at okay, cause they got this thing, this spacing thing now, where they yeah. only let like a hundred people in the store at a time. Okay, let me tell you. The line to get in the Sam's Club looked like the line at the click. Are you on Are you on uh, 95th and Western? Which one you yes, at? Yes, sir. 95th okay. and Western. All right, man. Well, stay safe, bro. On now, right, you, too, let you go. Thank you so much for your time, man. We're going to get something happening in this 2000. Oh, for sure. For sure. All right, bro. Later.